how to use e rank for etsy hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use e rank for etsy so having said that let's just jump into the video so i'm over here on eranker.com and what you're going to do over here is you're just simply going to go ahead and register so there are some plans over here so let me just show you so over here as you can see we have three plans the free plan the basic and the pro so the basic one starts at 5.99 per month for the active etsy seller and the pro one is 9.99 for the advanced etsy seller so over here you will have these features you will have key tools over here keyword tool with which you can look up to 50 lookups per day and for the basic one you will have 100 and for the pro one you will have 200 so listing audit is going to be 25 lookups per day basic one is going to be 50 and the pro one is going to be 200 rank checker is going to be 10 lookups per day so which means that you can only look up this uh features this rank checker 10 times a day for the basic one it's going to be 25 and for the pro one it's going to be 50 and over here competition tracker you don't get that in the free one you do however get that in the basic one and trend buzzer is going to be not available over here in the free one however it is available in the basic one and the pro one and then for the keyword list you will have one list for the free 25 for the basic and 50 for the pro top sellers are not available daily delivery status is also not available in the free one but in the pro but in the basic one you get delivery status you also get keyword lists you also get top sellers which is like 200 lookups per day and over here for the pro one there are 300 lookups we have track one listing over here and the free and the basic one you can up to track up to five listing and in the pro one you can track up to 20 listing and listing analyze 100 active listings for the free plan 200 active listings for the basic one and 4000 active listings for the pro one then you have a bunch of other ones as you can see five lookups per day on the keyword explorer for free plan 25 lookups for the basic 200 lookups for the pro and then you have bulk keyword tool you can have that you have 25 lookups per day in the basic plan and 50 lookups per day in the pro plan then you have monitor tool one term for free five terms for basic 20 terms for pro and then down below you can see the pricing so and then all you have to do is just pick out a plan that you want to invest in and then you are good to go so for now i'm going to be using the free plan i'm going to click on register and once you click on the register button all you got to do is enter in your first name your last name your email address confirm your email address and then just simply check click this box by you know accepting their terms and service and click on register and once you've done that they're going to send you an email for activating your account which looks like this it's going to come in around five minutes and then once you've clicked on this button you are good to go then all you got to do is just simply log in all you got to do next is just simply log in so i'm going to go ahead and log in and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so once you have logged in this is how it looks like all right so as you can see pretty simple so next all you have to do is connect it to your etsy shop so you that you can go ahead and you know access the app data and your shops and see what you're looking at all right so over here as you can see marketplace popularity as you can see amazon ebay walmart these are the three top you know marketplaces then we have etsy and home depot and over here on amazon we can see it's a pretty big bar we have unique users as well so this is for the u.s market right now amazon is leading it and then down below we have trend buzz so we can see that you know these are some of the past good history like wedding personalized gift minimalists summer jewelry like these are at the top and then most sales on etsy are from over here from these shops snm and necessities signature t-shirts collian bold bird apparel and chatlin minimalistics so as you can see these are the sales number right over here and you can pretty much see all of the things that you wanted to see right now these are for the marketplace popularity if you wanted to check for the uk just simply click on the uk over here as you can see amazon ebay and etsy are more popular in the uk because walmart doesn't operate over here and then we have canada and in canada amazon walmart etsy australia it's going to be amazon ebay and etsy and then we have deu i think that's germany or dutch i don't know but over here again amazon ebay and etsy and then over here in france amazon ebay and etsy so 
Etsy is constantly a number three, but that's because, you know, not a lot of people know about Etsy, but it is going to garner a lot of hype within the upcoming years. And then over here at the top, you have your main options such as Keyword Explorer, Keyword List, Keyword Tool, and Hot. Then you have your listings, shops, competition, tools, and trends, right? So if you wanted to go into Keyword Explorer, we go into Keyword Explorer, all right, and check that out. All right, so over here, as you can see, nothing is here, but we just simply have to import uh, a keyword. So let's say you have a, you know, store and you're selling like some sort of clothing, like let's say footwear, like shoes, right? So we'll just simply search for shoes. It's going to process and find all the keywords related to shoes. All right. So over here, as you can see, this is how it looks like. So. Uh, we can't get the trend searches over here or the average because we need to upgrade our account But as you can see we can still see the competition This is in the US and over here we need, can see how much competition we can expect so That's a lot of competition. We don't need that. This one looks good, right? Anime shoes, right? It has character counts is 11, which is decent. Then over here, we have low competition as well. We can use this. And over here, long tail keywords, maybe, which means this is good. Now, if you don't know what it is, long tail keywords are keywords for key phrases that are more specific than more commonly searched keywords. So if you have more specific keywords within your product descriptions, then you will have a higher chance of selling them. So anime shoes looks good. Shoes in general have a higher keyword because, you know, they're random. Everyone's using that. So we need to have like specific uh, keywords on our products. Same goes with other keywords as well. So, for example, if we go back over here, let me just go back. As you can see over here, we also have a quota. We can only search for like five keywords. So you have to be very specific in the free plan. If you want to upgrade that, you can go with the uh, pro plan or the basic plan. Then you will have more searches and more quota. So let's go with jewelry, right? Let's go with jewelry. All right, so in jewelry, as you can see, a lot of keywords, not a good, key, you know, keyword because as you can see, we have a lot of other keywords that have higher competition. We don't want that. Jewelry, 13 million. Handmade jewelry, a million. Jewelry box, 265,000. Jewelry organizers. This is good. Septum jewelry, 10,000 searches, which is decent. But as you can see, most of these are in the red. So maybe not go for the jewelry ones. All right. That's not good. So maybe like, let's go ahead and over here, as you can see, we have some statistics as well. So average searches in the U.S. is 72 clicks over here in the U.S. 39 CTR in the U.S. is 55%. And then Etsy competition is 13 million. So not a good keyword. Maybe something else. Maybe you know, headphones or something along the lines of portraits or paintings or maybe wall art. Search for wall art. Okay, so wall arts aren't also very nice. So 7 million on the US, right? That's a lot, right? Okay, so you generally get the idea, right? Any keyword you want, you just come over here, you search it. You find a good keyword like moose wall art, like decent competition like low competition keywords you're you're that's the one that you want right so you get that then you have keyword list and keyword tool so if you click on the keyword tool let's go ahead and check that out okay we don't have anything i don't know if it's loading okay we need to upgrade our plan i don't think we get the keyword tool okay we need to upgrade our plan because i don't think we need we can see the keyword tool but generally you get the idea. Let's go ahead and also check out the trend buzz over here, the top 10 keywords on Etsy. And over here we have some uh, how to use a quick summary and benefits of the keyword tool. So average click shows, search country and all of that. Decent things. All right, so over here, as you can see, these are like the trendings on keywords. So Father's Day gift, minimalist, personalized gifts on for dad, stickers and gifts. So gifts are basically pretty decent because of the father's day so yeah that's pretty good and we can see other uh, keywords on aliexpress on amazon handmade craigslist facebook pinterest poshmark redbubble and many many more so pretty amazing overall e-rank is a pretty amazing tool you can get do a lot of things you can find a lot of keywords uh, you can do a lot of seo searches over here as well so 
that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye